In this episode, we'll be speaking about the new Sleep Elper class of Laravel and improvements on the deployment history of Laravel Forge. PHP is sleep function, allows you to pause your code for the given amount of seconds. However, if you have a test that tests this particular endpoint, for example, you will need to wait for 5 full seconds to actually see the result of your test suite. And for this reason, on the latest version of Laravel, we are introducing a new API on the top of the sleep PHP function. The only thing you have to do to start using this new API is first of all import the sleep class in your code and then simply replace all the sleep usages by something like sleep for five seconds. After that, you can clear your terminal and get back into your example test to start faking all the sleep calls you had in your code. So now, if I run this test suite, luckily enough our test will take only a couple of milliseconds instead of full entire 5 seconds. Now, besides the possibility of faking sleep calls, we can also make assertions on those sleep calls. So here, for example, I could simply type assert sleep times one to ensure that our code is sleeping for at least one time. It's also possible to test that a particular sequence of sleep calls was performed. So here in our example, the only sleep call performed was this one of five seconds. Therefore, we can test that by simply provide this call within the assert sequence method. A quick update about Laravel Forge. As you may know, when installing a repository, you may choose between GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket or any other custom provider. However, when choosing a custom provider, in the past, you would lose access to certain features on a deployment history such as who is the person who have initiated the deployment, what is the branch and what is the commit information. But thanks to the latest update on Laravel Forge, Forge will do its best to infer all the commit information and populate the deployments table, even if you are using a custom Git repository. Thank you so much for watching and see you all next week.